hello everyone welcome to google form tutorials in this video we are going to see that what are the different types of questions that google form provides us so in case you don't know what about uh, forms so basically google provides this facility through which we can create online forms and as the name suggests it basically creates a form which you can share with others and they can fill it the data that they enter you would be able to collect it as the owner of the form in a particular place for later analysis and for use as you may like it so these are like very much used in online exams for collecting details for questionnaires for review for feedback purposes etc so let's just dive right into the type of the questions that google form allows us to create and for what scenario we can use each question so here i have a blank form with me and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a question so the first thing is this is the question that is pre-created means this is just a blank question and if i want to create a question out of it what do i need to do is i can just type in some text so here i type choose one option so why have i typed this because you can see the type of the question is a multiple choice question so this is the one type of the question that google form provides us so options what do i have is option a if I want to other add other option, then Google form, you can see automatically suggests me B. Similarly, if I just type in the month uh, January and I go to the other option, maybe type in February, then click on add option. So it automatically suggests me the option C or the third option that you want to add. So let's just say March. So just like this, I have three months that are available. Uh, and here in the suggestions also you can see google form is suggesting me some options so you can add as many options as we want this is the first type of the questions what is the next type of a question if you want to add a question just click on this plus icon uh, this would allow you to add another question this was the first question this is the second question now let's just change it type to check boxes in multiple choice what happens is the student or anyone using this form would be able to choose only one option out of these three if you want them to choose multiple options like let's say the instructions are choose two options minimum basically two is the minimum they can choose more so the options are let's say a it would suggest me b it should suggest me b it's not okay no problem okay so these are the four options a b c d so out of these since i've selected check boxes they can select or choose multiple options so this is the check box option next we have is the drop down so what happens in this drop down i say choose a list so basically i can create a list of these drop downs and those they can choose so suppose my first option is like um, days of the week next we have is um, months of the year So these are the two drop downs that would be given them into the option and these are what they can choose a list is what they can choose this is the drop down type of a question next what we have is a short answer question and a paragraph question so the only difference between these two things is the length of the words that a person can enter suppose we select short answer so they can just type a small amount of text but if you want your um, answers to be lengthy or to be long then instead of short answer you can just simply choose a paragraph both the options allow the person to actually enter the text which may include spaces numbers symbols letters words anything but uh, it would be a subjective question like tell me something about yourself so this is a simple textual question subjective answer that's what they can type it over here next type of question we have is a short answer question let's just do that as well so let's say where do you live so uh, this is basically a shorter answer type of a question where you can answer in like limited words or probably uh, one or two sentences and that should be enough next type of question if we just go here we have as a file upload so this allows you to upload the files so what happens is as you can see over here that um, it will allow the respondents to 
upload the file now there is a chance that they could be a virus that they could upload which may harm your drive or um, maybe take a hit on your personal data so it's always advisable to only give this option to limited number of people like your students so that the file that they are uploading will not harm you in any way so google uh, forms would give you this kind of a warning and once you click on continue only then this question would be there so let's say we can give them some instructions like um, upload your resume so upload your resume now what happens is since we are uploading a resume we don't want images to be uploaded or videos to be uploaded we want a simple pdf format of a resume so allow only specific file types let's just uh, check this option and there is this pdf so let's just click on pdf how many files they can upload maximum one because resume one is enough maximum file size uh, let's just keep it as one mb then whatever files they upload will go into a google drive folder and from here you can view that folder so that's it for this video these are the mainstream questions that you can create in google forms these ones that are given over here are not that mainstream options and we will check them but in the other video that's it for this video thanks for watching